Hi guys and welcome to my first series here on the channel. I'm Miss Shady Marksman and I'm about to start my deployment here into Virolati. In the aim to completely liberate the area from all Russian forces who have taken over the entire area. I do hope you guys enjoy this series and follow along as we kick some Russian ass and free the people of Virolati from the Iron Fist. Now in today's video we're going to be leaving our main FOB and start liberating each town one by one and let the Russians know that we are in the area. But without any further delay, let's choose our gear for the day and get some boots on the ground. Alright guys, so we got our soldier ready. We've got the HK416 with an ACOG and a reflex scope on it. We've gone for the Woodland Marpet uh, outfit. Um, let's have a look here, just give it a look around. I think instead of hitting an FOB, maybe this valley over here will be our priority. Maybe, I don't know how many episodes it's going to take to complete that. But uh, these things normally take a few weeks with uh, multiple players. But we're going to see what we can do. Military AA radar. So I think if we hit a vehicle and uh, maybe land over here, we should do well. And we can move in and start taking these out. So it's at west of our position. That's okay, sweet, so I'm gonna head over there and then I'll catch up with you guys again once we're there. And uh, we can start kicking ass. Alright guys, so we're here now. I'm just gonna switch the engine off quickly. Uh, we are now in the circle over here. Uh, so now we just need to plan a attack on here. I see there's this tree line here which we can use to our advantage. And then hit Napola or Napala. So I think if we just leave the vehicle over here and move along that tree line we should be fine. So if we just head along this road there should be a building. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's convenient. I hope these people don't mind me leaving my MRAP on their front lawn. Sweet. Alright guys, so here we are. This rain will help us. Let's just go ahead and scout this out quickly, get our thermals out. Thermals. Where's a tree line? I think that's a tree line that we saw. Oh, hello. So we've got to go with the PKM, AK, we've got a civilian. We have to be watch out for the civilians. Otherwise, they're going to rat us out in our FOB positioning. So we've got one squad there. There's a civilian. There's a vehicle over there. More civilians. Okay, sweet. So it shouldn't be too hectic. Um, what we could even do is head over to there and make use of that hill. Have a slight uh, higher ground than them. There's some uh, resources, so we can use those. Yeah, so I think that guy's gonna be quite a good target to take out first. Not sure they're in here. No. Alright, so I think we can start engaging. Get right up the next to this tree.
Uh, luckily we brought the spa pod. Where the go the PKM is. Why oh, they're standing around his dead body. Don't tell me he's gonna drop over there. Okay, so no movement yet. I don't know where the rest of the squad is. Is that running there? Okay, so the civilians are panicking. Just hope they don't get in the way of fire. So they seem to be taking uh, cover behind that building over there. Right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to move around. Make the most of them. Uh, not being able to see where we are at the moment. So you be careful because there could be more than one squad around here. Oh, there they are. They've come out to play. Oh, headshot. Nevertheless, we're going to move in. Is that an enemy? Seems to be civilian in there. Okay, so we've got Nepala. Sweet. Just move on these guys. Um, make sure everyone's dead. We could take hostages in and get intel on uh, other FOBs and stuff like that. We also got to be aware that enemies could still be alive. So you can never let your guard down completely. Let's see, PKM. Alright, so this town is uh, captured. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead back and uh, fetch our MRAP. Just move it up here and then uh, we'll head for Calio Factory. I just want to say thank you to the people for letting us park in their driveway for a bit. Alright, so we're in the town now. We've got our MRAP. Watch out, sir. Okay, so we've got our... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and update this quickly. No. So that we've got. Just need to mark where these things are. This town here. Yep. So we're just going to mark over there with an S. Supplies. Cool. So I think this next one... Probably leave our vehicle up front here and then move in. That car refueling me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to stop up front here. Just head in on foot. Let's say we stop here. And move in. Cool. It's not too far from here. be on the wrong road. No, we're not. There we are. So yeah, so the whole plan is at the moment is to pretty much take this whole belt over here. Maybe until... Maybe, actually, let's change that. We'll take these first few. And, uh, what the fuck? We'll take those first few and then uh, we'll set up an FOB around about here somewhere. That we can worry about at a later stage. So what we're going to do is leave our vehicle here. Just switch it off there. Make sure our magazine is full. And move in. Always prefer that you get the high ground. It's easier to see people. It's easier to duck away and get cover as well. So what we're going to do is we're just first going to clear this hilltop. Make sure no one's up here. Sweet, now we can do some reconnaissance. Uh, 
Yep, they got a vehicle. Uh, quickly try and scout it out for you guys so you guys can see. There's their vehicle, so we're gonna have to take that gunner out first. Without being seen. It's really important that we do get that gunner first before they see us, otherwise we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. There we go. Okay, so the only problem is now we've started engaging without seeing where the enemy is. Uh, oh my fuck. So the machine gun has seen us, we're going to have to move back a bit. Maybe even get in this building. They've seen me, oi, oi, oi. Okay, so we're down. Okay, so we were taken out, so I think what we're going to do differently this time is uh, try and move an FOB that side. So, uh, preferably if we can get a mobile respawn it'll be better, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Actually, I think this helicopter is a mobile respawn. So this helicopter is going to act as a mobile respawn and an arsenal. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to fly it over here, land it so we're a little bit closer. So we're being engaged already. Lord knows from where. But we are being shot at. This is a problem. the one difference between fighting in woodlands compared to desert is you can't really see much. There's so much death relayed, so much stuff to hide behind. I guess it's a pro and a con really. But uh, we're gonna move up and see what we can do. I think I'm gonna make my way to the east side of the east. that one I see? I'm just waiting for one of them to get up and run. Maybe reposition so I can see where they are. I'm definitely not used to the woodland combat. Well, as much as they are, at least. Oh, hello. Let's 
Let's see how difficult it was to spot that guy. Okay, so I think we're probably gonna start moving again. Try and keep moving east. So it looks like they're moving in on me. Okay, should be fine. Let's go ahead and reload quickly. I'm ready for another push. I think they saw me moving east, so they try to counter it. I don't know how many guys are left. There could be a maximum of three. Oh, hello. down sweet this is awesome I'm enjoying the woodland uh, combat Holy crap! They're defending the building. Okay, so there's two there. Take these out first. Actually, I wonder if we can lie down here. Get the bar pod out. Okay, so that's crazy. I didn't think they would do that. Go ahead and reload. Just do a quick sweep of down here. Is that at the garage? Yeah, I thought so. Here's more. Try and get a headshot on this guy. Someone's hurting me. Just gonna patch ourselves up here quickly. Sweet. Uh, that warehouse is laden with guys. Make sure we reloaded here. Time to start clearing. Let's clear this side. So there indeed was someone in there. Okay. Now I have a very sneaking suspicion he's in that barn over there. Let's make sure our little Ruski friend over here is dead. Doers, sorry. What we can do is that drop that down, put that in there. Well, 
Well, we also gotta be careful that there would be civilians in here. Oh no, it doesn't look like I'm being careful. <laughs> no ways. If he's in here. No ways. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't believe we did that. So anyways, I'm going to store all of this stuff and then uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as we start uh, getting everything together for our next push. Let's go have a look at our magazine situation. 11 full mags, so we should be good. So, um, yeah, we're going to head over to the radio tower 020-155. And uh, we've got a helicopter here, so this is almost like a somewhat... FOB, but uh, yeah, once we hit this radio tower, we're gonna move over to the more, uh, can I say, reinforced position. So, yeah, we're gonna move in now. I think it's just down the road, it's actually quite a drive. All right, guys, so we've come up here now to the radio tower, it is currently over there. You could just see it between the trees. Uh, so there should be a squad patrolling around here. It'd be nice to get this down to reduce amount the amount of comms they have. There's a squad over there now. Uh, let's go get up. Get cover behind this tree and just start opening fire on them. That should be the only squad. It's normally quite small squads that come through here. To PKM guys. Okay, guys. So I've gone ahead and uh, gone and fetched my M wrap because uh, there's not going to be much uh, targets left. Um, so yeah, I do have the AI on expert. So I think dying is going to be part of this. <laughs> Which I don't think is a bad thing. I don't want it to be an easy breeze. So, at least it's, it's a bit challenging. Still starting to understand how to fight in these wooden terrains. Oh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, so, I think we're just going to just stop up here. Definitely going to know I'm here now. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to cut out the deaths or anything. Not supposed to be cinematic. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Have they spotted me? Yep. Okay, luckily I did catch them in the open, that why, that's why I didn't want to start shooting too late. Okay, I think there is one left from what I saw. Machine gunner. Let's get in the circle. See how many are left. There we go. Cool. So that's captured. Let me get out of here before I start reinforcing from this petrol station. Alright, so that went a lot easier the first time. I mean, the second time. So we're going to go hop in our MRAP. 
Alright guys, so I think I'm going to end it here for episode 1. I hope you guys did enjoy that. This has been uh, episode 1 of uh, Liberation on Varilati. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you do want to follow the series. And uh, if you guys got any suggestions on what could be changed, please do let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be recording episode 2 now, so it should be up shortly after episode 1. I'm still deciding on a schedule. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to try and push these out as quick as I can. I do enjoy playing this, and uh, I hope you guys do enjoy watching it. But yeah, until, you, until the next episode, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.